Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about Cornish Mundii, C.A. May, otherwise known as Drummond's Dogwood or Roughleaf Dogwood. Roughleaf Dogwood is a small deciduous tree or shrub that grows to be about 2 to 9 meters tall. This species is known to form dense thickets that can provide nesting habitats for birds and small mammals. Roughleaf dogwood was also used by Native Americans and early pioneers to prevent tooth decay. Now, if you take a look at a distribution map of roughleaf dogwood in North America, we'll see that it is native to Eastern and Central North America, and it is a bit more rare to the East. If you're wanting to add this species to your landscape, it grows best in hardiness zones 4 through 9. Alrighty, now when it comes to roughleaf dogwood's natural environment, it can withstand really wet or drought-like conditions. Therefore, you can really find this species in a lot of places, like on the edge of forests, along streams, or even in prairies. I will note that roughleaf dogwood does well in sun or partial shade as well, making it very adaptable. Now we can use the bark to help identify the species, and when it comes to the bark of roughleaf dogwood, it will be gray to brown in color, and will be a bit blocky and flaky in texture. We can also use the twig to identify roughleaf dogwood, and the twigs are thin, reddish brown in color, and slightly pubescent. The apical bud is much larger than the lateral buds, and is a pubescent gray color whereas the lateral buds are very small, are in an opposite arrangement, and are like little spikes. Now the leaves of this species are green, simple, entire, egg-shaped, and have a smooth margin. Roughleaf dogwood can be differentiated from other dogwoods because it will have three to five pairs of lateral veins in its leaves, and the underside will be pubescent. Just as a side note, dogwoods have an arcuate venation, which means that their veins look like arches. Additionally, some ungulates, such as deer and elk, sometimes eat the leaves of this species. Roughleaf dogwood blooms May to June, and when it does, it produces an inflorescence of small, white, perfect flowers that turn a darker yellow color as they age. Each flower has four petals, four stamen, and one pistil. They also have sepals, but they're really tiny and you can't see them in this photo. Anyway, roughleaf dogwood is pollinated by bees, moths, and butterflies. Once a roughleaf dogwood is about two to six years old, it will begin producing fruits, which are round white droops that sit on top of red pedicels. These fruits mature around August to October and contain one to two stones. Each stone is green to tan in color and has two locules, which typically only one of which will contain a seed, but sometimes both will have one. Additionally, this species is a food source for over 40 species of songbirds and small mammals. Lastly, I want to mention that if you pop one of these droops open, you'll see that it has a lot of white milky sap. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning about Roughleaf Dogwood, otherwise known as Cornus Drummondii with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.